The history of art is, of course, full of very famous men. Not because there weren't any women who were artists, no, no. They were simply written out and their stories not told. So all the myths about the lack of women in the art world are complete nonsense. Of course, then, it's not only the artworks of women that have caught my attention. Uh, I do have some favorites among the men, starting with the Icelanders, Jón Engelbertz, very early blew me away with his strong expressionistic forms and colors. And in addition, lots of his compositions are under the influence of Icelandic nature and also the life in Reykjavík in the former half of the 20th century. Now this painting that you see here on the screen is one of my absolute favorites and it's on display in the National Gallery of Art in Reykjavík. Johannes Kjarval is probably one of the best known Icelandic 20th century artists, not only for his masterful paintings, but also his quirky personality. The way he incorporates people, animals and supernatural beings into the landscape is what I find interesting. And the way he paints the Icelandic lava and moss, his works are mostly curated by Reykjavik Gallery of Art, truly worth visiting while in Iceland. And going abroad to Spain, Juan Miró and his simplicity forms and use of colors is simply amazing. When you look at a work that is so simple, yet tiny bit naive, and that seems to be very easily executed, you know you have a masterpiece in front of you. So if you are ever in Barcelona, to visit his museum. And on with the Spanish masters, Picasso, Pablo Picasso, is my absolute favorite, particularly his Cupist period and his portraits. Of course, he was a very versatile artist and a very colorful personality, constantly pushing boundaries. And that is one thing that I like about Picasso. So if you ever travel to Malaga, where Picasso was born, you should visit the Picasso Museum. Some say you should never meet your heroes. I'm not so sure that me and Picasso would get along. That depends whether he was or was not intimidated by strong women, particularly opinionated radical feminists. Of that, we will probably never know.